A 10 year old boy has fever, joint pain and a new heart murmur. What is the most likely diagnosis? A infective endocarditis, B viral myocarditis, C rheumatic fever, D Kawasaki disease. Correct answer C rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever commonly affects school aged children after a streptococcal throat infection. It presents with fever, migratory joint pain and carditis. A new heart murmur suggests valvular involvement, especially mitral regurgitation. A young adult collapses during exercise and is found to have a systolic murmur that increases with valsalva. What is the likely diagnosis? A aortic stenosis B hypertrophic cardiomyopathy C mitral valve prolapse D pulmonary stenosis Correct answer B hypertrophic cardiomyopathy Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a genetic condition that causes thickened heart muscle This condition can lead to sudden collapse during exertion The murmur gets louder with valsalva because of reduced preload. A 60-year-old woman with sudden tearing chest pain radiating to the back should be evaluated for A acute pericarditis B aortic dissection C pulmonary embolism D stable angina Correct answer B aortic dissection Aortic dissection presents with sudden severe tearing pain often felt in the chest and back it is a medical emergency this is a life threatening condition where the inner layer of the aorta tears causing a sudden severe pain often described as a tearing or ripping sensation that radiates to the back Prompt diagnosis and treatment are crucial to prevent catastrophic complications. Which class of drug is most effective in reducing mortality after myocardial infarction? A beta blockers, B calcium channel blockers, C nitrates, D loop diuretics. Correct answer A beta blockers Beta blockers reduce heart rate and oxygen demand after an MI they help prevent arrhythmias and improve survival they are one of the few drug classes shown to lower post MI mortality Which of the following findings is suggestive of cardiac tamponade A widened pulse pressure B pulses paradoxes C loud s1 D continuous murmur correct answer B pulses paradoxes cardiac tamponade is fluid build up in the pericardium that compresses the heart it leads to pulses paradoxes where systolic blood pressure drops more than 10 mm hg during inspiration It is a medical emergency. Which valve abnormality most commonly causes atrial fibrillation? A pulmonary stenosis, B tricuspid regurgitation, C aortic stenosis, D mitral stenosis. Correct answer D mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis leads to increased pressure in the left atrium causing it to enlarge this stretching disrupts the electrical pathways and often leads to atrial fibrillation it's a common complication in rheumatic heart disease what is the first line drug in acute management of bradycardia with hypotension A atropin B adenosine C amiodarone D digoxin Correct answer A atropin
Atropine is the first drug used when a patient has symptomatic bradycardia, especially with low blood pressure. It works by blocking the vagus nerve which increases heart rate. If it fails, pacing may be needed. Which antihypertensive is contraindicated in pregnancy? A. Labitalol B. Methyl Dopa C. Inalapril D. Nephidipine Correct answer C. Inalapril Ace inhibitors like Inalapril can cause fetal renal damage and are contraindicated in pregnancy. Safer alternatives include Labitalol, Methyl Dopa and Nephidipine. Managing hypertension in pregnancy is important to avoid complications. What is the most common ECG finding in pulmonary embolism? A. ST elevation B. S1 Q3 T3 pattern C. T wave inversion in leads 1 and AVL D. Sinus tachycardia Correct answer D. Sinus tachycardia While S1 Q3 T3 is a classical finding, the most common ECG change in pulmonary embolism is simply sinus tachycardia. It reflects the body's response to low oxygen and strain on the right heart. The ECG may also show non-specific STT changes. Which of the following is the most common cause of myocardial infraction? A. Coronary artery spasm B. Coronary embolism C. Atherosclerotic plaque rupture D. Vasculitis Correct answer C. Atherosclerotic plaque rupture Most heart attacks are caused by the rupture of an atherosclerotic plaque in a coronary artery. This triggers clot formation and sudden blockage of blood flow. The affected heart muscle becomes ischemic and may die if not treated quickly. Which of the following drugs is known to prolong the QT interval? A. Metoprolol B. Frusemide C. Azithromycin D. Inalapril Correct answer C. Azithromycin Azithromycin is a macrolide antibiotic that can prolong the QT interval on ECG. This increases the risk of torsi depontis, a serious arrhythmia. Caution is needed, especially in patients with other risk factors. Which investigation confirms the diagnosis of pericardial effusion? A. ECG B. Chest X-ray C. Echocardiography D. CT scan Correct answer Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates, follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.